check both ways as we cross the tracks. Now I can actually see a Brittany ferry off in the distance, I can see it from the train and I'm kind of hoping the fact we've got a midnight departure, well 23.59 departure, that they might let us on early, do you think so? Well that might be wishful thinking eh? Oh it's suddenly got very dark here, once again these ferry companies, they don't really care much for foot passengers do they? Uh, yep, just walked through a big puddle. It's so weird arriving at places like this at night, you can see the sea and the moon and the moon's reflection on the sea but I've got no idea what it's like here at all. I'm not going to lie, I totally forgot to do an intro for this video, I've just stepped off the train and come round to the ferry terminal but here we are, the Brittany ferry from Rosslayer to Santander. I think that's where we're going, let's do it. It's funny, I just went to check in just now and I've got my cabin key and my lounge access card but when I turned up they knew my name. Now why is that? Because there's only three foot passengers this evening and I was number three so we're ready to get on board now. He's actually going to check and see if we can get early access to the ship, that would just be fantastic. Okay, we've just been given the shout and they said there's a bus going to be waiting outside for us. Oh, it's cold out here tonight. Is this the one? Cheers. Thank you. Right, there we go. This bus will drive us straight onto the ferry and as usual, I ran down here to get on first so I could nab the front seat. I'm not sure how much we'll see tonight, but it's worth a try, isn't it? There we go, it's a very empty ship so far, isn't it? Thanks, mate. Which deck do we go to? That's the question. Info deck seven. I'm just so delighted to be on board, you know? Sometimes you don't get on till about an hour before departure. This is so much better. Hi there. Hi. Are you foot passengers? Foot passenger, okay. yes. Okay, welcome on board. Thank you. Hi. How quiet is it? Are we on before the cars and the trucks or is this what it's going to be like? Oh, the snooker on. Trump Selby. Oh, that'd be a good match. Right, this is the correct stairs because I just tried to go up the service stairs and had to go back. So I don't think they're quite ready for us. Here we are, deck nine. I've forgotten already my cabin number 907, 907. There we are. Well, again, just like the last ferry, this is lovely. I don't think this is all the lights on, so I'll just dump my bag, give me just two seconds. Da -da -da. There we go. So what do you think of this one, folks? And you see this little light in the ceiling, look, it shines down onto the carpet. Feliz viaje.
Okay, so let's be honest, we don't quite have the space that we had in the last ferry cabin, but this is beautiful. And I tell you what, I am always privileged to have a cabin and a ferry because I've done the long hard hours on the seats up the stairs, so this is luxury. Hi, so the cabin tour is not going to take quite so long this time. We've just got a single bed, some, what are these? Refreshing towel, green tea perfumed refreshing towel, a couple of bottles of water. This bed on the other side, does this come down? Oh, so if I do want to sleep on this side, or if I need an extra pillow, I can just take it from there. Got a nice TV, a window of course, which is always just a bonus, isn't it? And a wee wardrobe in the corner here. Not the biggest, but it's fine. A tiny wee desk, and we've got a bathroom. Now that bathroom is actually a lot nicer than the one in the last ferry, isn't it? Shower, we'll check the pressure of that later. And some lovely products here as well. That's not bad, eh? So let me tell you a bit about why I've chosen this ferry route and it's all about duration. So today is Friday, we depart at 23.59 and we arrive into Santander at 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So it's a proper two night voyage, it almost feels like a cruise. So we'll have plenty of time to enjoy the cabin and all the facilities on board. Now, I've also got access to the Commodore Lounge or the Club Lounge, I'm not quite sure what it's called yet, but I know that they serve snacks, occasional meals I think, and hot and cold drinks. So I'm hoping to get all my food and drinks in there and try not to spend anything else on board because this ferry journey was quite pricey. I'll put the price at the end of the video and you can tell me if you think it was worth it. So now it's just gone 10 p.m. so we've still got a couple of hours until departure but it was so good to get on board early. And what I'll do I think actually, we'll nip up to the lounge and we'll see if we can get in. Get our money's worth, eh? Put my cabin key in this pocket, okay? Remind me. Oh, this is fantastic, isn't it? It's like a ghost ship tonight. And I was just speaking to one of the guys who was one of the other foot passengers, and he was speaking to one of the crew, and they were saying that there's only us three foot passengers and a few trucks, and that's about it. So I think we've got the ship to ourselves tonight. This is incredible. But then again, who would uh, be sailing from Rosslair to Santander on the 1st of December? Crazy. Can we get in here? I think this is the lounge. No. Is it open tonight? Like the... Yes, the lounge. Yes. Yes, if you have a pass. Oh, oh you just do this. Okay. Ah, oh, oh, thank you. Okay. So welcome to the sea lounge. Now I'm not sure if that means Commodore or Club Lounge, but anyway, we're here and I'm the only person in here at the moment. And there's food out as well, so I guess that's all for me, isn't it? And I've got to be honest, the food looks lovely. I wasn't expecting this. So just a wee, what I'm going to call, unexpected paella for supper. I tell you what, by the look of this ferry and this lounge, it looks pretty new to me and the food quality is just incredible. I was not expecting this, folks. I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time in here. Cheers. This one's for you. Okay, so I went up again. I'm quite literally a kid in a sweetie shop here. Just some random wee items. Look. This place, in fact, this whole ship is just ridiculous. It really is. Supper was absolutely fantastic, but then coming out here on deck, it's a wee bit cold. So I think I'll go back to my cabin, get wrapped up, get the jacket, gloves, hat on, and then we'll come back outside for departure. Oh, those are heavy doors. Where do we go? Through here? 
Nope. What am I doing? What are these? Ah, that's a shame. I thought this was an interactive route map, but no, it's just giving information on Spain and other destinations by the looks of it. But a route map would be so good in a ferry like this, especially when Wi-Fi is not the best, just to be able to find out your current location. What on earth is all this? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I think my initial tour of the ship's a wee bit rubbish tonight and that's just because I'm so tired. I was up at five o'clock this morning, it's almost midnight now, but I'll put some warm clothes on, go out on deck for a wee refreshing walk, but then I think I'll be back in my bed very quickly after that. It's been a long day. Tell you what, that's quite a good selection of English language TV, isn't it? I don't even have a TV at home, so, aye, this is a bonus. Welcome to the very colourful sun deck. Oh, it's all painted by Ruben Sanchez. Now, I don't think I'm going to be spending long out here tonight. In fact, I don't even know... Where's the bow? Where's the stern? We need to work that out. Oh, I think this will be the bow over this way. Now, we've got a lot of these panels, so we can't really see much out here. There will be somewhere we can get a better view, though, I'm sure of it. But not up here. I tell you what, any excuse to go back inside tonight, I think, and go to my bed. Do you know what? This ferry is absolutely fantastic, but I'm going to do something now that I never do. I'm just going to go back to my cabin. There's no point being out here for us leaving the harbour. In fact, that's the harbour wall there. Within five minutes of turning round, we'll just be in the open sea. There's, yeah, no point being here. So let's go back to the cabin, get a good night's rest, and then we'll attack this video tomorrow, okay? I even put my gloves on, look. But I'm just not up for it tonight. All this stuff will still be here tomorrow. Good decision. Okay. Morning, folks. A very good morning folks and what a beautiful morning it is too. It's a wee bit earlier than I expected, it's about half past seven, but when I looked out my cabin window this morning and I saw land and I kind of worked out where it was, I just had to come up on deck. Now off in the distance there, you probably can't see it on camera, but that's Land's End and we've got the lighthouse that's just off Land's End, which annoyingly I can't remember its name. And if we swing round, We've got the Isles of Scilly. I can't believe I've been able to work out where we are without a map or without any Wi-Fi on my phone. So I'm very proud of myself. But anyway, let's go for breakfast. We 
We will of course be up here again later, but boy, I think I need another layer of clothing. Oof. Oh, freezing. I've finally worked out how to gain access to here. There we go. Good morning. How are you? Yeah. So we're back in the comfort of the lounge and this time because it's daylight of course the blinds are open and we've got a lovely view out over the bow with the sun rising but breakfast is where I want to be. So it looks like we've got some scrambled eggs, some tomatoes, sausages, bacon, beans, mushrooms and all the kind of continental stuff as well. Beautiful. I've assembled a nice wee breakfast this morning. I've not gone too crazy, but if I wanted to go crazy, I could. The selection is incredible, but I'm not overly hungry at the moment. And I'll just sit here with a nice view out over the bow and I can see the ships passing up the English Channel. And behind me in the lounge, well, it's just me at the moment. Mmm, those mushrooms, wow. We just had some dolphins playing off the bow, probably the same ones that I saw when I was on the Salonian going to the Isles of Scilly. So I still haven't managed to capture them on camera yet this morning. They're too fast. What time will I be back? 11.30 till 2. Yes, sir. Right, let's head out on deck again. Deck number 10. I tell you what, this ship is so quiet and I love it. So we've got a nice little seating area here with all the seats tied down. If you fancy sitting outside in the Bay of Biscay in December, this is where to come. We've got a cool little kids area as well. Oh no, look what I've just spotted. A gym. Oh, I'm not really sure if I see this in my future today. But I might have to make some creative wee video clips to at least just pretend that I'm working out. Come on, Steve, faster! Well, I think we can safely say now that that's gym session complete. I tell you what though, it's a way to stay warm out here. I have definitely come to the conclusion that winter is the time to do these ferry crossings. Imagine what this would be like in summer. It'd be chaos but then I am a bit weird. I love these random lampposts everywhere. It makes you feel like you're walking down the high street, but no, we're in the middle of the ocean.
Look at this if you're sitting outside relaxing, enjoying the sun, you can even charge your mobile. And do you remember on my last ferry video when I was getting my steps count up? Well on this deck you can do actual laps, uninterrupted loops. But I tell you what, it's a bit windier on this ship. This big skylight here looks down onto the bar and I can remember on a previous ferry journey, I think it was on a Stena, and I was saying all the sensible people are down there having a wee drink and I'm up here on deck on my own. Well, here we are again, folks. Now, it would be fair to say that there's not much to see on these routes, but what you can see is weather. And we're leaving behind this nice blue sky and we're sailing into a bit of a weather front here. In fact, the clouds look really cool. But beyond that again, we've got more blue sky. But you can see the weather for absolute miles. But I think it's fair to say in the short term, we're going back inside. Right, I'm clearly back in the cabin. I just want to show you a couple of things that I didn't notice last night. Firstly, we've got this nice artwork on the wall. See these curtains on the window? They're fake, they don't work, but you do have the blind that comes down. You've got this little information sheet here that tells you everything that's on board. It's actually quite handy. And you've got these little things that look like camera lens cloths, so they'll be quite good as well. It's good to be able to watch some old movies on a Saturday morning. Got a little tea and coffee station here. The kettle is clean. The products are of good quality. And see the sockets. Now you've got like the European, British ones. You've got USB and you've got that thing that I never know what it is. And just under the desk, you've got a wee hair dryer. And up here, you got one of those scary mirrors. Hello. Now, of course, I'm traveling on my own, but I just want to do a wee experiment and drop this bed down to see what it's like if there's two of you traveling. I mean, it's a wee bit tighter, but it's still bigger than, say, the Northlink or something. But there's still plenty of space there. But, of course, when you're traveling on your own, there's absolutely bags of room. Aye, so the cabin is great, but it's not quite perfect. This bed though was super comfy last night. I got a really good night's sleep, but there are still a couple of annoyances and the first one is rattles. Now rattles are something you often get on a ship and on this one, they're not so bad that they're gonna keep you awake at night, but if you've got sensitive ears, maybe pop in some earplugs. But the second thing is announcements. Now they are done in French, English and Spanish. And especially after boarding, there were so many of them. But here in the cabin, they were super loud. And I was trying to look around to see if you could adjust the volume, but you can't do anything about it. So you just have to put up with those. I'll put a wee example in just now. We therefore ask you to ensure you have everything you need before we depart. We thank you for your cooperation. Señoras y señores, por razones de seguridad, el acceso al garaje está prohibido durante la travesía. We can see the coast of France now off our port bow and that means we'll soon be heading into the Bay of Biscay. But for you and me, we're heading for lunch. Hello again. Well, for lunch I've gone for a nice hearty sausage casserole and a few wee desserts and of course a glass of wine. I could get used to this, cheers. It's getting quite busy in here now. There's at least seven people. And once again, fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, I had a wee bit of a nap while watching the snooker there. And it's not that the snooker was boring, it's just how comfy this ship is and my wee cabin, but it's time to head back outside and get some fresh air. Oh, and I tell you what, that air in the Bay of Biscay, it certainly is fresh.
there is so much open deck space on this ship and here at the stern it's fairly sheltered so I think Brittany Ferry should be putting this to use maybe pool tables isn't going to work but a few jacuzzis maybe I'd use those in any season It's blown an absolute hooli up here now. Well, I guess now I can fully appreciate why they've got these glass panels around deck 10. That's funny, I was just thinking how dull and dark it is up here this afternoon, but they've just put the lights on this second. It fair brightens the place up. It's actually hard to stand still at the moment. I'm trying here. Nah, I'm sorry, that's enough, I'm out of here. couldn't resist the paella again and some wings to start that's a bit different Not the quickest kettle in the world, but I'm just sitting in my room enjoying the snooker tonight. I'm so glad that I'm travelling on a Saturday because there's loads of sport on TV. So I've got this at the moment, semi-final of the UK Championships. And then I think Manchester United are playing at 8pm. I don't think I can get that in my cabin TV, but I'll just head along to the bar and watch that. So it might be dark outside, nothing to see, but plenty of sport to watch tonight. Here. Oh, oh. Camera's blown over now. Good morning folks, it's still ridiculously early but I could really feel the ship putting the brakes on from my cabin as we approach the north coast of Spain and it's part of my job to come out and document these things isn't it? So here we are, all very exciting. The little specks you see there, that's some ships leaving port and that is Spain. Ach, it's still pitch black out here, but I'm sensing this is quite a cool arrival. I took a couple of wee snaps with my iPhone on long exposure, but just holding the phone steady was very difficult, so they'll be very blurry, but I'll pop them in here just now.
Well, it looks like I got up here just in time because where I was watching the arrival from on deck, they've just closed it off for bunkering. What is bunkering? Well, whatever it is, it feels like my cue to go for breakfast. The bacon should be sizzling away by now. And just like that, 31 hours of ferry travel, done. Not actually as bad as it sounds. Well, as long as you've got a cabin and access to the lounge. And if you're traveling with Brittany Ferries, I would totally recommend both, but was it worth it? Well, I'll pop the price in the notes just now and you can tell me what you think. But as always, folks, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. That's us through passport control and they scanned my luggage as well, which was a wee bit weird for arrival, but welcome to Santander. Well, it sure is a quiet Sunday morning here, but it looks like it could be a cracking day. Now I've just got to connect to the internet because I've not had it since Friday. I've not had anything on board the ship, so it'll be good to find out where my hotel is or even what my hotel's called because I can't remember. Oh, even 3G, that'll do. A wee update, I switched on my phone and checked where my hotel is and it's literally 140 yards that way. So again, thanks for watching today and I'll try and do a wee video from Santander.